I am Ripper the Clown from Ripper the Clown Show on YouTube.com and I'm a cartoon character come to life. And I'm here today to give you some information that you may find troubling, you may find it disturbing. It's an inconvenient truth, I know, but it's information that I need to provide to you. Now, I grew up admiring, respecting, loving a certain performer, and his name is Jim Varney. He's right there on my hat as Ernest P. Worrell. Now, many of us grew up loving that character of Ernest and his shenanigans with his unseen neighbor, Vern. And as an adult, I was extremely disappointed, extremely, extremely just blindsided when I found out that Jim Varney was actually a hardcore drug addict. Now, if that doesn't shatter your childhood, I've got more information for you. I'm sorry to tell you this. I don't want to have to, but I feel as though if you're a Jim Varney fan, you need to know this. Ernest P. Worrell was actually the evil Dr. Otto in disguise. I'm not joking here. I'm not making this stuff up. You can go and watch a movie called Dr. Otto and the Riddle of the Plume Beam. Ernest P. Worrell appears at the end and it's Dr. Otto in disguise. That character that we loved for years is actually a maniacal alien with, an, with a hand on the top of his head. It's earth shattering. I mean, it just blew me away when I found that out. If you don't blame me, go watch the movie. Dr. Otto and the Riddle of the Bloom Beam. It's hard to find, but if you look hard enough, I'm sure you can locate a copy of it. Yes, I'm sorry to tell you this. Lovable, honest, Ernest P. Worrell was actually a maniacal, sinister, alien being who wanted to dominate the world. That's my information. Use it as you see fit. I'm Ripper the Clown. Jim Varney was an unsung, underappreciated, multifacetedly talented actor and comedic genius. His legacy lives on through his work and in the hearts of diehard fans like me, Ripper the Clown.